on his right hand side. I, I like this play. I like, oh, it's oh, a lovely, lovely little dinky over the top and a goal for Newcastle. The first goal of the match. And it's number three, Bobby Johnson, the left back, coming in at the far post, being the extra man. Nice. Newcastle lead 1 0. Ah, fantastic for Newcastle. It's been coming, hasn't it? I think you've got to say that. Really, the run of the play, the dominance of this team. Lovely ball played in there. That's what it's all about. Dug out in many ways, that uh, cross into the box. It's floaty. They didn't deal with it. And Bobby Johnson comes in and gets on the end of it, probably with his weaker foot, but the goalkeeper can do nothing about it. Back in round two, back in September, October time. Here's a good player here. We'll just stop and watch this for a second. Oh, there's a ball into the box and that will be a goal. Newcastle have scored. Well, it may well be a known goal, was it, by Obamingi? It may well be. We're very difficult to sort of deal with it. But I do fear that Ossi Obamingi may have put that into the back of his net. But great work, take nothing away. Superb hold-up play by James Harper on the edge of the box. I think it's Lucas Bowl gets the ball in and then just tries oh, to sort of yeah. clear it with his right foot. Obviously his weaker foot, the left back. And it's one of those that can go anywhere. It's gone in the net another day. As As Amasanti looks to play in. Abanda who's got some pace. Abanda has got pace and Abanda has scored. Game on. St Bernard score. It's the ball over the top. And Thomas Abanda has pace aplenty. St Bernard's are right back in this match. It's 2-1. Well, they are. And that's the pace of Abanda. Takes him away. Absolutely brilliant. Away from Oliver Fletcher. The keeper's got no chance. He's got to come out, try and throw himself at the feet of Thomas Abanda. Scott tries to go solo, which is not his bag. And now here's the breakaway. It's De Sand. Oh, that's a lovely touch. The referee may... Oh, no. The referee has pulled up. Um, oh no, that's not going to be in his uh, book of uh, the coaches have got hands on their heads around us. Well, that's the inexperience that's of the referee, isn't it? And the frustration yeah. of the players. I mean, however much they're going to remonstrate and the coaches are disappointed on the sidelines, they can't turn the clock back. There's a shot uh, from distance from De Ball. Gupta's going to have to come be and a, get this could because be a good bad one, it. couldn't it? Oh, oh missed kick from Gupta, but he's recovered well. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Getting involved up there. Oh, man of the match, help. Uh, yes, tricky. Uh, there's oh, so many always a great ball in. Well, the man of the match could well be decided. And the ball has put the ball in the net. Newcastle look as if they've sealed this win right at the death. And it's the ball who scores. Lucas De Ball. What a great ball through it was to him. Well, well, did the substitutions work? Here we go. Let's watch this again. Watch this ball from Malarkey. Brilliant. What a ball. What a ball that was. And De Ball still had plenty to do there to actually score. He'd got two players around him. Four centre halves, got to be honest. But well done, Newcastle. The final whistle has gone. The players are lying on the pitch. There's disappointment out there. But again, one of the things that's always lovely to see in these events, some real sportsmanship between the two teams. And there's, there's Newcastle players helping up. St Bernard's players and commiserating. With me is Mark Rochester, the coach for St Bernard's. Mark, I think it was one of those up and down games here today, wasn't it? Yeah, it was actually. Um, I'm very proud of the boys, though. Uh, that's two national finals that back to back. We, unfortunately, we have not actually come through and won. However, it get, in the second half, it did get very close. And we, uh, we the boys, um, full credit to them, there was a big effort in the, in the second half. Um, I think there was a decision that could have gone our way, but that's football. And I can't take it away from the uh, Newcastle boys. Very well deserved. 
and I, ho and I hope they, uh, well, they have. They've done their schools very proud, and we're very proud of our boys. And, and so you should be. You know, we've got to have a competition here with hundreds and hundreds of schools that have entered. And you've got through to the final. You've come so, so close in a match that could have really gone either way, haven't you? Absolutely. And um, I, as I said, I think last year I said the same thing. Some of these boys won't realise that actually to play in two national finals, they might never do that again in their lives. And to play on a stadium and a surface like this, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's yeah. full credit to them. Yeah. Newcastle team themselves, or what a team they are. And, you know, that did, did, we, we, yeah, yeah, big lads, you know, we looked at the line beforehand, we could see that there was a size difference. But, you know, the skills that your lads showed, at the end of the day, going on your coach home tonight, you know, they will be very proud of them and you must be very proud of them. Yeah, very proud. The whole school's very proud. And, uh, you know, the boys work hard. They, they put the effort in. Their football did their talking, actually. You know, they do play good football. Um, and football is a cruel game. Yeah. And, uh, but they will learn from it. And uh, hopefully it will go again next year. Mark, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. Good luck. Well, with me is Steve Harper, one of the coaches here for Newcastle. Steve, you've got a, a load of premiership experience yourself. But I saw you blowing your cheeks and look a little bit nervous on the edge of the pitch here today. Yeah, they put St. Bernard's credit them. They put us under a lot of pressure second half. And we just started panicking a little bit and sat a little bit deep, got a bit detached from the front player. And... We just started panicking, so it, it's different when you're out there and you can affect it, but when you're on here, you can't affect it as much, but they find a way, this bunch yeah. of boys. We won it at under-11s on a special day. You would never forget at Aston Villa in a monsoon, um, but to come here, you know, thanks to PlayStation and the English schools for putting it on and bringing us to a fantastic venue, and what an opportunity. I said that to them before. You know, ner they were nervous, but nerves are good, yeah. but they have to use it and see it as an opportunity, and, and I think we did that as well, but it was a, it was a tough day in very hot conditions but like I said this bunch of boys credit to them yeah. they you have to give credit to St Bernard's as well because yeah. you know it was looking there was a Harper at the front as well who nearly had a chance to make it 3-0 yeah. and then suddenly they went and scored and they were right back in it you've got to give them credit haven't you uh, yeah it was my son that missed the chance yeah thanks for reminding <laughs> me of that as well yeah I've got to give them huge credit uh, you know the coach at half time obviously tactically changed it a little bit and got them fired up and we got a fortunate goal which gave us a bit of breathing space as well and I'm going to talk in cliches, 2-0 is a dangerous score and yeah. we knew we'd watch them, we knew Abanda up front was a threat and the one chance he get, he took it very well, looks a good player. And like I said, we just panicked a little bit and sat off, which is only natural, you see that in Premier League football. Um, but, and we just panicked a little bit, but we just tried to lock it down and rely on a little bit of magic yeah. and we managed to get that, which won us the game. Finally, the team have won a major national title. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of schools have entered this and they've come out number one again. So, you know, you've got a long journey back up north, but that coach is going to be buzzing today. Well, they've got an exam on Friday, so <laughs> I, they're supposed to be revising. There's a teacher on the bus. I think there's not much chance of that as well. So hopefully they can reset that. Yeah, I mean, for us as a school, Newcastle school for boys, it is a small school, but I think you can see the spirit it, it fosters amongst the boys. What just rounded, good young men they are and when they face adversity like we did in that second half, they find a way. We try to teach them to play the right way all the way through. And when you see the rewards and the fruits of it today, you know, credit to everybody at the school. Absolutely. Steve Harper, thank you very much for talking to us. Take care. Well done, Newcastle School for Boys.